practitioner uh, in the area of commercial law. Um, there's been a recent article published where there's um, real estate agents making a comment that there's just not enough stock on the market um, and that um, New South Wales, Victoria and predominantly Hong Kong are just buying properties on the Gold Coast site unseen. So what we're dealing with here are some um, unique factors because buying a property site unseen, that can cause its own issues, but also every state and territory in Australia has different laws around conveyancing. So it can be um, really important to make sure that the contract's properly drafted. Um, and I'll hand over to Teresa to talk about some of the unique factors for conveyancing in Queensland. Thanks, Sophie. Yes, um, buying a property in Queensland now at the moment is a very attractive uh, proposal, but it's important if you've never bought in Queensland before that you're aware of certain things. So I've um, done a bit of a need to know list and it's important to be aware that in Queensland generally there are standard contracts which are approved by our Queensland Law Society and the Real Estate Institute of Queensland but usually the agents prepare that. It's in contrast to New South Wales and Victoria where often the conveyances or solicitors prepare contracts. So it's important to be aware that that's a different system. And also, if you sign a contract, it can be binding straight away. So it's important that you get advice about who should be the correct buyer and that you get advice about the contract before you sign. The um, contracts in Queensland are signed generally before a whole lot of searches are done, whereas in New South Wales often there's search information and materials as part of the contract, so you get a lot more information before you're bound in New South Wales. So it's important to get some advice early about the contract and that you research the property and its value ahead of time before you sign. Mm. Um, also in Queensland the contracts are subject generally to finance, building and pest. Other special conditions can be problematical so it's important to get some advice on those. So that it's properly drafted Correct. so that everybody knows where they stand. That's right and you don't end up giving away rights that you, would, you would, might have or have unintended consequences for your conveyance. Um, also, once contracts are unconditional after the cooling off expires in five business days, then generally both parties are bound to proceed. And in Queensland, it's important to note that time is of the essence, which means every time limit in the contract is essential. And if you allow the time to pass, consequences can flow. Mm. And there can be you know, costs and, and possible damages mm. if there's breaches. So they're just a few of the um, top key points, um, but Teresa has written an article. Um, it's really easy to read, so I just encourage you all to jump online to our website and have a read of that, particularly if you've come across this and you're looking at buying property sight unseen, uh, whether you are actually in Queensland or whether you are looking to come over internationally or interstate. So thanks, Teresa. Very it's shame. my pleasure, and it's exciting buying a property. Um, looking forward to helping you if we can. Thank you. Thank you.